Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. My name is Safe, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Zuhu Recruit to create job openings, manage your candidates and hire people into your company. So let's get started. First you need to create your own account from Access Zuhu Recruit from here. Here it redirected me to my profile, however I will log out and uh, sign in from another real one, another new one, so that you will uh, uh, witness the process from the beginning. Now let's get started. And let's choose Google. Now let's choose a new mail from here. Here it will ask you about the type of account to continue. We will we will choose staffing agency and we will choose the company name to be oil and gas company. And we will just write any fake number. And now let's get started for free. Now let's press on get started. And here we are. So this is our dashboard. Here we have the top menu which contains home, job openings, candidates, interviews, clients, contacts and more. In this tutorial we will be interested in making a new job opportunity, uh, opportunity or job opening and a new candidate. So let's start with the job opening now. Here it will ask you, you can create job opening from scratch or you can import it. I will create it from scratch. It will ask you about many information so we will just answer the mandatory ones for the sake of the time of the tutorial. So the posting title, I will choose it Senior Engineer. Client name, you can choose your company from here. I will choose my company. Next contact name, um, I will choose mine. Now I will skip all the, this information because it's not mandatory to fill. I'll just use the work experience to be maybe one to three years and salary three thousand dollars now let's move on to the next section which is the address information you can fill it you can fill forecast details you can fill the description information and you can fill requirements benefits and attachment information now i will leave all these and i will just save why i didn't choose to save and publish because if i pressed on save and publish it will refuse because i missed some cells here for example, you have to fill more than 150 characters in job description and requirements to be able to save and publish. Since there is no time for that, I will just save. You can fill uh, all these cells the way you want and as uh, your uh, job opportunity requires. Now here you can see the hiring pipeline. It's all zeros because there are no candidates yet. So it's pretty normal. You can also see here the business card and all the information related to the job opening. Since we didn't enter much inf information, you will find that all of these are nearly empty. So uh, you can also see it uh, as a timeline view from here. So this way we have created our uh, first job opening. Now let's move to the candidates and create our first candidate. You can press on this plus sign from here. And it will ask you, let's just exit this. And it will ask you whether it's a creation from scratch, importing or importing from document. Let's just create candidate. Here you can insert the, th the same cells based on the candidates information. Of course, we will not insert all, these informa all this information in this tutorial because we have limited time. So we will just put the first name, let's say Proust. And last name Wayne because I'm a fan of The Dark Knight Rises. So let's just place this name. And we will just leave all these cells empty. So now let's press on save. What's the difference between save and associate and save? Let's try it out. If, we, if I clicked on save, you will not find any link between this candidate and the job opportunity that I started. So this is not the case and this is not what we want. So now I will navigate to edit and I will choose save and associate. 
Now it will ask me about the job opening. I will choose the senior engineer opening that I uh, created before in this tutorial. And I will select the application status to be, for example, let's say that Mr. Proust is currently is in interview and this interview is in progress. Now I have detected the status. I can also press a, uh, write any comment, but I will not. And I will associate now. And here we are. So uh, we have created our first candidate here. So um, we can also view in timeline. Now let's return to the job op openings. If I return there and I choose the senior engineer opportunity, I will find that the hiring pipeline have been updated and that there is one in interview. And if I clicked on more information, I will find that this one is in progress. So it basically has been updated based on Bruce Wayne, who is currently is in an ongoing interview. So let's say that uh, Bruce Wayne have success, has successfully um, managed to succeed in his interview. And now I want him to move to the next stages. How can I fulfill this? All what you need to do, click on this, choose the one you want to edit. As I know that uh, Mr. Bruce is currently in interview in progress, I will choose it. Then I will choose th this one. And I will choose hiring pipeline. Then I will choose move to next status. So here I will choose the new status. So it can be offered job. It can be hired. It can be that he is unqualified. So I can choose whatever I want from this status. So I will choose that he has been hired successfully. And now... I'm interested to hire this candidate and I will update. It will also ask for a confirmation. I will say yes, proceed. And congratulations to Mr. Proust. He has been accepted in the job. So uh, if I want to make sure that uh, my update has been successful, I will turn to job openings again. Here, as you can see, the status here is hired. So if um, I navigate it to job openings, I will see that after selecting this job opening, I will see that it has been updated and that there is one hired. So it has been successfully updated. You can also check on the applet on the candidates. You will find that Mr. Proust, by choosing him, he is hired here, and you will see it next to his name. One second. Here it is, he is hired. So basically, um, this is how we can link between a job opening and the candidate and how we can control the stages that the candidate passes through during his selection criteria until he is either hired or refused. So now if I want to update my pipeline, let's choose this um, job and let's say there are some stages here that are not mentioned and I want to add them. So I need to select customize pipeline. Now I have all these stages. I can edit any of them. I can delete one of them. I can also add a new stage from here. So this is basically how you can control your, your hiring pipeline. So you can, you can now, you know now that you can control the job openings you want. You can control your candidates from the first stage to the end stage and you can control your hiring pipeline. So that's it for this video guys. This is how you can use Zoho Recruit. It's pretty much straightforward and self-explanatory. Hope you guys learned from this quick tutorial. If you like this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.